It's Thursday, May 9th, 2013. I'm Adrian Jeffries, and resistance is futile. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge, presented by Virgin Mobile. Amazon may be working on a smartphone with a 3D display. The Wall Street Journal reports that the company is preparing two different phones. The high-end model would feature the glasses-free 3D screen and could even use eye tracking to help users navigate. Amazon is also said to be working on an audio-only streaming device and a set-top box. Word first surfaced of an Amazon phone in 2012. At this point, it doesn't seem to be a question of if we'll see one, it's when. Paid YouTube channels are finally here. The site launched a pilot program with several partners today, including Sesame Street, UFC, and B-movie icon Roger Corman. Subscription fees for the channel start at just 99 cents per month, but that number can change as companies see fit. Sesame Street, for example, offers individual episodes starting at $1.99, but you'll have to pay $27.99 for a full season in HD. All channels will come with a 14-day free trial. And no, we're not one of those partners. And finally, Microsoft might be trying to buy the entire Nook ecosystem for $1 billion. TechCrunch reports that the company is trying to purchase Nook Media, the Barnes & Noble subsidiary that handles ebook sales as well as Nook e-readers and tablets. Microsoft currently owns almost 17% of Nook Media, but taking control would put Redmond in charge of the massive Nook magazine and book library. Nook's own Android-powered tablets also appear to be on their way out. The company reportedly plans to discontinue them next year. That's it for today's top stories. Join us tomorrow when we'll be talking about all the negative reactions to electron auctioneering.